on YouTube. It's your girl Dina. I am. It's Halloween. That's why I look crazy like this. I'm a ventriloquist. Anyway, um, thank you so much for tuning into my weight loss channel. Even though it's Halloween, I'm definitely thinking of you all, and I wanted to. Um, I'm not in my full Halloween costume. I'm definitely wearing this shirt, um, but I'm wearing different kind of pants to bring up the look, and I have a top hat to wear as well, so I look more like a grilled doll. Anyway, um, but while I'm doing that, I kind of want to give you all a body shot. Um, so it's a year and basically two months. Um, I'm a year and two months post-op. I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy on August 19th, 2014. Today is October 31st, Halloween of 2015. And my stats are, I am 142 pounds down from my, 44 pounds down from my highest recorded weight and 120 something pounds down from my um, surgery weight. Today I weighed in at 226.2 pounds and I'm really excited about it. So I got 20, basically 30 more pounds to go before I'm at my um, goal weight. And having said that, I want to kind of give you an idea of what my body looks like um, at 226 pounds. Um, before I stand up, I just want to um, give you some information uh, because I haven't thought about this before, but I do have people that ask me, so I'm, you know, I'm going to inform you. Um, so you know how much I weigh, you know how long ago I had my surgery, um, but a lot of people ask me how tall I am, and I get this in person too a lot. That they, um, if they ask me why am I losing weight, like I'm small, you know. And a lot of people are surprised to hear that I'm 200 pounds. And I think it has to do with me being 5'9". I'm 5'9", flat-footed with no shoes on. Um, and I wear heels every day, all day. I rarely wear flats. And so with flats on, I'm 6 feet plus. Um, I just say 6 feet, but I know I'm well over 6 feet with some, like, 5-inch heels. Um, I have one pair of 5-inch heels where I really wear. But anyway, so I'm well over six feet when I wear heels. And so when people see me, um, because I'm t way taller, I look smaller. So I'm prefacing you, I'm telling you that because, um, you know, I may look smaller than 226 pounds. But let me tell you, it's all that. Okay. So let's turn the light on. Let's get this party started. First of all, you know, I'm washing. Just the stuff going on. I'm going to purse my lotions and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. Okay, so this is my ventriloquist uh, shirt that I'm wearing today. I'm going as a ventriloquist. What my shirt looks like. So I'm gonna stand up. Get this light again. And that's my shirt. I'm in Trulicus shirt. So this shirt is from Forever 21. It is it is a large. And as you can see, I mean it fits my arms okay, but it is uh, it's it's a large. Maybe an extra large. I'm about to take it off and check. So it's an extra large. Under here, because it's kind of see-through, I have like a little whatchamacallit, but I'm about to show you. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Let me turn this big mic on. I'm okay, huh? Okay, so that's my shirt. And that's my ventriloquist face. Um, and then when I take this off, it's 
it's about to get real up in here. Check this for every 21. Oh, and it's an extra large. Okay, so I did basically, I've been wearing this since, you know, I was, you know, losing my weight up and down. I mean, not up and down. I was still losing, and um, I must have bought this at the time. So this is an extra large. This tank top, or whatever you call it, camisole, is from um, Old Navy. It's Old Navy, and this is a large. This is a large, and um, it kind of looks like this in the back of the shirt. I like the print pop that it has. And uh, this is large from Old Navy, and it fits pretty well. I really like it. Um, like I said, I don't have on any spanks or anything, so you're seeing my belly and everything. So what my arms look like, my arms are getting worse. Um, I'm, you know, I have muscle, you see. I have a lot of definition. I have uh, triceps and biceps, but I do still have a lot of skin. So I'm working on that. I think I might start wrapping to get rid of that skin. Boobs are size C. I am not a full C anymore. I'm a, I'm a C. Okay? Not a C and a half. I'm not a C and three quarters. I am a C. Um, this is what it looks like from the side. So I still got some um, rolls going on, but they're really going down, which I'm happy about. Um, and right now what I'm focusing on is abs and waist. What I'm focusing on because the butt is gone, as you can see. It's just gone. That's what it looks like from the back. I'm just trying to get rid of all this movement out a lot and kind of really tone on my stomach so I can get harder. The good thing is, my apron or my kangaroo pouch or whatever you call that has really gone down. I thought it was going to because it was really full. I thought I was going to have so much excess skin down here, and it was going to hang over a lot, but it's not. As I lose weight, it is sucking up. And so I do still have a pooch. I have a pouch, but um, it is not hanging over anything. I mean, it's, it's poking out, but it's not in the way of anything, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Now, um... So I guess you were only really seeing a body shot from the waist up because there's no way that I can show you feet down. Uh, I mean, I can. Okay. So, um, so I have some problem spots. I have some, 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 some issues. I have some places that I, you know, when I'm in the gym, I focus on. Um, and um, then... I might go to something else. I try to keep it as light and bright and breezy as I possibly can in the gym. Not light and bright, but what I mean is I switch myself up a lot because, you know, your body is a very smart machine. And so if you do a routine for a little while, your muscles get used to it. You get, you get used to it. And so you don't get the full benefit of the exercise that you're doing. Um, because your muscles adjust. So I try to um, I switch out a body part that I lift weights and work on um, every like three, two or two or three months. Um, I'll switch it out and I'll make it fancy, you know. So right now I'm on abs and um, waist and back. You know, I, I want a really, really, really sexy back. <laughs> Um, so I'm on my abs, my waist, whittling it down and getting rid of all of my, um, you know, like my little, you know, like that stuff, getting rid of that, getting rid of my rolls, trying to as much as possible and, um, my back. I want little nodules and little knots in my back. I don't want like a back, but I want like when you look at it, you know, I'm working on that. I already told you. But when you look at my back, it's just flat. And I want, like, oh, I just want some definition back there, you know? So that's what I'm working on. Before, I was working on my thighs. 
and um, my butt, butt and thighs, and I'm trying to make that thing poke out. Nothing is doing it. I don't think I'm doing my squats right. Um, but my thighs and my hamstrings are like a runner's, you know. So something's not right with that. And then before that, it was my arms. That's how I got my guns. That's how I got the gun show here. <laughs> I did that. Anyway, so thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. You know, I read all of your comments all the time. It really does help me. Um, motivate me like when I get off of work I go straight to the gym it's right across the street from my my job so I have no excuse at all so um sometimes when I've had a really hard day at work or like I'm just you know beefing with my boyfriend or I just don't want to um you know I motivate myself by going on to YouTube and looking at the the comments and subscribers that I get and that really does motivate me it really does help on the times that I'm, I'm having a hard time finding motivation so thank you so much for doing that please if you like this video if you're going through a weight loss journey or if you're losing weight or if you're considering having weight loss surgery or if your surgery is right around the corner or anything um you know send me a message like let's let's open up this dialogue you know because i've been there before so i know how it is when you're so excited for something but you don't know what to expect like you know what you're about to get into, but it's a surprise, you know, because everyone's, you know, um, journey is different. You know, the things that I was concerned about, the things that I always talk to my nutritionist and my surgeon about, those were the last things I thought about after I had my surgery. Like, <laughs> like excess skin, giving up soda, and that's it. Um, and then those two things were like, that's the last thing on my mind. I can give a fine whatever cluck that my arms look like this like it does suck a little bit because when i'm in the gym and i'm like really getting into it in zumba like they move around <laughs> it does suck sometimes but i don't care like you know it is what it is i'm working my ass off and i see the results under it so i'm still i'm under construction you know and um drinking sodas like i've never i have not tasted a soda since my surgery and I don't want to it's not even a humongous deal at all but it used to be an addiction of mine so um I have other issues and so I'd like to talk to you all if you're considering weight loss surgery you're about to have your weight loss surgery and let's just compare notes let's like let's open up a dialogue make sure you give this video a thumbs up um if you're digging my whole Halloween look and um Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check me out on IG. It's Dina Gosleave. Check me out on Facebook. It's Dina Gosleave. And let's inspire each other. Let's lose this weight, man. Fit is the new skinny. Like, skinny is not in and like super chunky ain't in no more. It's about being fit. It's about getting, being, like, that's the new cuteness, you know? I know everybody got big asses, but a squat ass is sexy. So let's inspire each other. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for coming to you with this face. It's just, it is what it is. When I have time to make videos, I got to do it. So it's Halloween. Be safe. Have fun. And bye.